Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. I'm Kim, a fairly average mum, and today I've got a B&M haul. So let's get cracking. Well, I'm going back. <laughs> oh. Hi, uh, sorry about that. Midst of my introduction and dee 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 going past. You know what I mean? You couldn't write it. You couldn't write it. Okay, so I went down to big and M. I had to go. Right, this is a protracted story. Right, um, I ordered off Amazon some white emulsion to be able to do this room, right? Because I wanted to paint it white. It was this magnolia that over time had gone to slightly orangey colour. It's disgusting. Still a bit over there, right? Got to paint that bit, right? Um, it were a really bad colour. It needed freshening up. So, I, And I thought, I'm not painting it magnolia again. Um, I want to paint it white. I like things to be white, okay. Um, I like walls to be white. It makes me feel like it's clean and tidy and stuff like that. So ordered um, some emulsion off uh, Amazon and it arrived on Friday. Um, when I got home, I went to bring it up here. And when I got up here, realised that I'd got paint on me because the entire bottom of this seven litre tub of paint had cracked all the way around and paint was just leaking into the box out of the bag that had that was in the box was the paint surrounded by a bag and then sort of these packing peanuts and then the box and the paint had gone through the bag and in and the packing peanuts and into the box so I had paint all down there so first I had to throw my clothes into the wash right straight away and then I had to deal with seven litres of paint, which is now gushing out of this blinking container everywhere. You should have seen the number of different pots I put this uh, paint into to try and stop it oozing everywhere. Right, it's a fire engine. There's obviously a fire somewhere. Um, please let everybody be okay. Right, um, yeah, so uh, yeah, so that was the disaster. So on Saturday, having sorted out all this blinking paint, I thought, right, now I've claimed for the money back because obviously there's paint everywhere and I, I don't know how I'm supposed to use it because it's now in containers everywhere, honestly, in order to be able to dispose of it. Sorry, I'm getting flashing things up. Right, okie dokie. So that's by the by. Right, so what happened next was, well, I went, oh, so I decided I'm going to go get something more emulsion, right? Because I want to crack on with this room. I wanted to start it yesterday, which I did do. Um, it still needs another coat behind me. But I started, um, so I went down to B&Q, no, B&M, right? And uh, bought myself a tin of paint. So I'll show you what I bought that I've been using and then I'll show you everything else, okay? So it's not just all decorating. Let me put my gigs on. I'll be able to show you these things, right? Yo, this paintbrush, right, was one seventy nine. This is the small one that I've been using to do the gloss work because the problem is that I've been painting round a bit and then I've had to wait for that bit to dry, right? Because and I can't move the furniture out to do anywhere else because it's such a small room. Um, so I've been just doing one section. So while I'm waiting for that section to do, I'll go over here and paint a bit of the woodwork, the paintwork, you know what I mean? It's just been one section to the next section, which is what you have to do in, a, in a, when you've only got one room and it's your bedroom and your living room. But anyway, I'm cracking on with it. This were 179 and this were 249, right? Which I'm using to do cutting in of the emulsion. So um, yeah. These are my two Harris paintbrushes, are they? No, Johnston's paintbrushes. They're really good, proper rate and liked them. Right, they don't shed that many of the um, hairs. They have shed a few, but not massive amounts. You know what I mean? They're a decent brush. So this one is 1.5 inches and that one's two inches. All right, so I've been using them. As well as them, let me put these down. Where can I put them that I'm not going to step on them? Right, in fact, let me go put them back in my paint tray. Okay, let me show you my paint. Like I say, I've been using it. So I got this massive one, this five litre one, is it? I think it's five litres. Six litres. 
right, for £17, which were a neck of a lot cheaper than the seven litre one that I paid on Amazon. £17 for that massive thing. So that's brilliant. I've been using that. And I also got this, pure, they're both in pure brilliant white. Colours cost you a lot more than pure brilliant white. Got this satin wood. This were £13 for this tin, but I've hardly used any of it. Maybe it's about that far down and I've been doing loads, although it all needs redoing. You know, it needs going over again um, because it had so yellowed over time. It were unbelievable. So yeah, so I bought that for 13. You're gonna think I'm nuts. I bought some Christmas decorations, but they were all reduced to 50p. I'll get to them in a minute. Right, bought this. Now, the other day, because I'm an head case, right, what did what? Now, I'm making myself a pot of coffee, so I get the canister out that's got the coffee in it, get a spoonful of it, put it in my cup, and they're standing next to, to each other. What I ended up doing is pouring the milk into the canister that had the coffee in. I'm like, you're off your head, you. Honestly, so completely ruined my coffee. Um, thankfully, there were only about that much in it. I did try and use it over a few days, but the milk ended up going sour, which meant that every pot of coffee was going to taste of sour milk. So when I were down at B&Q, I thought I'm getting myself B&M. Come on, Kim, get with the programme. Right, I thought I'll get one of these and then I can clean out my canister and start again. I always get the decaf wherever possible because I drink so much coffee that I don't be off my face otherwise, you know what I mean? So yeah, um, £4.50, it used to be £3.29, so, but like everything, prices go up, don't they? So there's that one anyway, excited about that. Now I won't have coffee that tastes of off milk. Next up, I bought myself this um, cup, right, because I've got a couple of cups that are too small, right? They are, they're too small. Now I actually wanted the pot that I've, I've got a couple of them that's sort of taller than this and a bit more sort of narrow, um, which is a decent pot of coffee or tea as well. But I could only find this one that were like big enough for my sort of pot of coffee or tea. I didn't want to buy another small one because like the small ones irritate me. I don't have enough in them and I drink that much through a day. I don't know what it is with me and drinking coffee and tea, but I love it, you know? So, um, yeah, I could sit all day drinking pots of coffee and tea. So got myself that nice big pot. Thought it'd be lovely. I'm right excited to like, give it a wash out and then have a pot of coffee in it after this. I'm gonna do that with my new jar of coffee. So bingo, got the whole set. So what's it say? It's called white cappuccino mug. All right, nice. I love it. So there's that one. Right, let me show you some of my decks that I bought for 50p each. I bought this fluffy one, right, just liked it, thought it was great. It's just a little fluffy pom-pom. 50p though, it was supposed to be originally £2. I were there looking at Christmas decks and a woman round the, rounded the corner and goes, why are you still selling Christmas decorations? And I thought, oh, slightly embarrassed now that I'm actually looking at these Christmas decorations. But I know that next year, I'm not reinventing the wheel next year. I'm going to keep on my red and my green with pops of white theme. Um, and uh, yeah, I, I, so I know exactly what colour scheme I'm going for. So when I seen this, I thought that'll go with my tree. I've actually got this fluffy thing um, that's uh, from somewhere else that I bought. It's dead nice and soft. I like it. So 50p for that one. And then this one is dead fragile, but I absolutely loved it. Look at it. It's just like a little cappuccino cup with a with cream on top. I know it's dead fragile because there were one that were broken just standing there, sitting on the uh, the rail. And then I picked one up, took it to the till and the woman's like broke it, trying to get it scanned. So I'm gonna have to be super careful with this, but it were only 50p. I just thought it were really cute. I only wanted one of each, you know what I mean? So I got that one. I have got another couple, but I'll come to them as I'm going. I was proper looking at all Christmas stuff though. I thought it was great. Right, okay, got myself these bin liners. I've got myself a new bin, it's white. Bugs me that the black bin liner is sticking out of it. So when I were in uh, B&M, that's right, isn't it? Yeah, B&M. I seen these, right, £2.50 for 40 white bin liners. I thought that'll stop irritating me. That's, that's gonna be great for me. The triangle ones, which, are, you know, I'm all right with them. Um, they're not super thick or anything, but at least it's not going to show up quite so much as the black bin liner. You know what I mean? So, yeah, very, very happy with that. 
So got myself that one anyway. Nice. Forty bin liners for two pound fifty. Thought they were great. That lasts me ages. That one. What else did I buy? Oh, these are off my brushes. Look. Oh, it was two seventy five for that other one. Right. Sorry for the two inch one. Were two seventy five. And yeah, I think that's it. I can't find the other one. Right. Now, when I went to um, Home Bargains, I bought myself some plugins. But when I were at b and I seen this, right, and it were only two ninety nine. It's a fabulous one. I thought I'd give it a go. I probably like a plug-in. And what was great about it is you actually get the thing and the thing, if you see what I mean, right? That thing and that thing in the same pack, right? And I did do the scratch and sniff. And it smells really, really nice. Cotton fresh, okay? So I'm going to give that one a go as well. I like to have plugins. You know, you've probably heard the story of the man who told, who said to me one day when I were when I were doing my master's degree, I didn't think you were the type of person who would have plugins. And I did think, one, what type of person has plugins? And two, why am I not that person? I like an house that smells nice, same as the next person. So yeah, got that anyway. Now I think it's a vendetta. I think I'm just determined to be the kind of person that has plugins. Since then, that has lived with me, and every time I see a plugin, I think I'm the type of person who has plugins. Okay, what that means, I don't know. Bought myself some cheese spread. I reckon on that, I don't eat stuff that's not like plant based, but I do like a, a cheese spread. I'm sorry, it's true. I really, really like it. I like it on toast, I like it in a sandwich with, with some cucumber slices. And it makes a really quick dinner for work when I can't be bothered, do you know what I mean? Or I'm out of hummus. So I got myself that anyway. We're only like a pound 20 or something. So uh, yeah, special pack, 110 gram size. Seriously so strong cheese spread. So I like that. Okie dokes. Oh, this is one of my other Christmas decks that I got. They had apples and pears, um, but I just like the pear. So I got that one, 50p as well. It was supposed to be originally £2.50, so I got that for 50p. I've got one tub over there that's got, like, um, all my Christmas decks in. So I'm just going to sling all these in with, well, not sling them, carefully place them so I don't end up busting them um, with with everything else. Okay. Oh, and then I got this one. Where's my other one? Now, my daughter Rose has got uh, an R one for hers, obviously because her name's Rose. So I got a K one, but I don't know if it actually lights up. It doesn't appear to actually light up. Does it say you can put batteries in? 1.5 volts times two. So triple A's, you need two triple A's, I think that's triple A's. I'll be able to work it out once I open it. Um, and then it'll light up. Thought that's great for my Christmas tree. Also, I did feel slightly good that I were getting the same sort as my daughter has got for hers. You know what I mean? They have loads of K's. K's is obviously not a popular letter to have anymore. But I'm um, excited to have that lit up anyway with me on-off switch. I'll be able to put it on when I put my other lights on, you know. It'll go nice with my tree next year, that. You'll see it anyway next Christmas. I'll be bringing that one out. 50p bargain. It was originally £3, so I'm very happy with it. Yeah, these will all just carefully be placed till next year. Whilst I buy, oh, I got this for 40p. Now, I like a scrunchie from time to time, and I just love this little fella. He were on Christmas section as well, Body Puff Elf. But I thought it was cute. So, um, and I thought 40p, that's all right. Actually need a new one. So, um, yeah, it's not the most subtle of things. But I don't care. I don't care. There's only me in my bathroom, you know what I mean? I rarely have visitors, even, you know, sort of, and more rarely do people stay. So, uh, yeah. I don't care that that is in my bathroom. Probably only ever going to be me that sees it and me showing you guys. So, yeah, my little elf one. They had all different ones, but by far I love the elf the most. Look at his little ears. Oh, bless him. It's like a little wing nut, isn't it? You know, but anyway, I absolutely love him. And I liked him because he was green as well. His body puff were green, you know. Okay, also I bought some chocolates. Um, so I got this one, Cheeky Elf, 50p. Right, 50p for Thornton's. Get in. I'll be giving that to somebody else. Probably won't end up eating it myself, but I might give it to somebody else. I thought 50p it'd be rude not to, wouldn't it, for Thornton's. So very, very happy with that one. They had loads of biscuits and stuff that were all reduced as well. 
But I thought, if at some point I see this in cupboard and I'm tempted to eat it, at least it won't affect my tummy because really I shouldn't eat gluten. I can tolerate wheat, but I can't tolerate barley. So um, biscuits are not the best thing for me, to be honest. Whereas chocolate, I can tolerate, you know, there's no, there's no wheat or barley in that. So, you know, all right, it's not plant-based, it's milk chocolate, but you know, sometimes you just got to do it, haven't you? So yeah, 50p. I'll be able to like pass it on to somebody else or eat it myself either way. And then I also got these and I thought these were a bargain as well. These were like 99p or something, less than that, I think. I'm almost certain they were expensive. So I got these, Christmas hunt kit. So there's loads. I'm going to take them into work. You know, keep people going through working day. Um, yeah, great activity for kids. It'll be an even better activity for, work, for workers, you know what I mean? <laughs> Munching on chocolate that's about to go out of date. Let's get it down before it goes out of date, you know what I mean? So, um, yeah, got that one. Reindeer Christmas Hunt Kit. That's not the easiest thing to say. Yeah. It's got loads in. Let's open it and see. People will think I've saved these from Christmas and I've just rocked up with them. Not like me, Ed Case, going with them anyway. Oh my goodness, there's loads. Look at that. Absolutely loads. I don't know what these are. Are they stickers? Oh, kids will use them. They'll like a sticker. They're not bothered it's a Christmas one. They're really not. Kids just like stickers in general. So yeah, great. It's got stickers in as well. Bonus. Right, and then last up, I bought myself a face mask. Okie dokie. Ooh, don't knock over your paint, Kim. Right, now they had loads, but I've got absolutely stacks of Garnier ones because I bought this 12-pack um, from Amazon, um, which what? Cheap as old, right? And it's the Moisture Bomb ones that I got. Were it about 20 quid or something for uh, 12 face masks, which... Is not bad at all for Garnier. Well, it's about the price, I suppose. You can get them for a couple of quid each. But because I've got loads of Garnier ones, when I were there at B&M, I was looking at the different ones that they had. And I like this one because it's Hyaluronic Hydrogel Collagen Face Mask. I thought I'd give that a go. Um, plastic in product, is it? Mm, Moisturising, firming effect. Hydrates the skin to reduce the appearance of fine lines. What about crevices? What's it do for them? Anyway, you only leave it on 15 minutes, right? And then you take it off and you just massage in the, like with everything. You know, these are the things that I put on after I've had a bath. It is very gel-like, I have to say, inside. I can feel stuff moving around. It feels slightly unpleasant, I'm not gonna lie about it. It feels like I'm squashing a bucket of frog spawn. But um, yeah, I'm sure it'll do wonders for me mush. So yeah, there's that one anyway. Very, very happy with it. So, um, yeah, so I'll be probably whacking that on later on today um, and see whether it, like, you know, it renovates or uplifts my face, you know. You know, I, I can always try these things. No one ever does that, but, you know, we can... God loves a tryer. So, yeah, I got that one anyway. So those are all my things that I got. Quite a few Christmas bits, some decorating bits and any number of other things. But um, yeah, I had a right nice look around there. Did spend 60 quid. Mm, no, less than that. About 52, something like that. But I got all my paint and my brushes, which were the main thing, you know, because I did really need to crack on with this room. It really, really needs doing. It'll be whiter than this. You can probably see still patches where it needs, like going over again. But eventually I will get it done. And I'll do, when I've done my kitchen as well, I'll do a flat tour if you like. And um, once I'm not embarrassed to do the flat tour for the state of the walls, you know what I mean? So I'll show you a flat tour. I also bought this chair, which is from Ikea, right? It's a fold down one. Um, because my other chair that I used to sit on were like this gingery colour. But then I thought, do you know what would look really nice? My daughter named the colour Mauve. Right, if I painted that that colour, it'd go really nice with a white and grey. Mm, I think I might end up doing that, you know. So this chair may end up being stored and I might go back to using my other one once I've painted it. But I'll have to get some gloss paint to be able to do that. Um, well, not gloss, but, you know, paint for wood. Um, satin wood. I'll probably do that because you can do it so quick. 
Um, but anyway, that's everything for today. If you've liked this video, please give us a like. It really helps us out. And if you like this kind of content, you might want to consider subscribing. I've left all my details in the description box just in case you want to contact me for any reason. But thank you very much for taking a few moments out of your day to spend with me. Bye!